Hello students, so from electromagnetic theory, this is a question from net December 2024 in which a magnetic system of a spinning solid sphere has been asked and uh, I have done it for cylinder, for shell and obviously for solid sphere. All these cases I have done in the class. I will show you later on one of the snaps from my uh, class notes and uh, let us check out if I have a solid sphere, suppose this is solid sphere and this let us take z axis and it is spinning like this and I have to calculate the magnetic dipole moment. So magnetic dipole moment, let us take first of all a small magnetic dipole moment. It will be given by current into the area, okay, the area where the charge is revolving, area of that. So if I take a spherical polar coordinate system at a distance small r, if I take a small charge dq, so what will happen? This charge will start revolving like this, correct? You just imagine if you are, if you are on earth here, you will be making this circle. Earth, earth will be revolving like this, okay? So this distance will be the radius of this particular circle and uh, let us take this distance as small s. So what will be the magnetic moment? It will be this current that will be produced because of this small charge dq. Because dq charge is revolving, it will be dq by time, time period that it is taking and the area will be pi s square okay and uh, this small charge will be equal to rho d tau and this time period will be equal to 2 pi by omega this will be dm and this will be pi s square and you can see this angle in spherical polar is theta so your s will be uh, uh, perpendicular so it will be r sin theta correct now put everything in this equation so your dm will become uh, rho which is star density and uh, d tau it will be r square sin theta d theta d phi dr into pi s square will be pi r square sin square theta because we have to ultimately put it everything in terms of small r and theta and phi to be able to operate in a spherical polar coordinate system. Now what will be m? It will be integral. So rho is constant and uh, by 2 pi by omega will give you omega here and 2 pi here, correct? So it will be rho omega by 2 pi, alright? And let us check out the integrals. So one integral will be 0 to 2 pi, that will be d phi, okay? And uh, this pi is also there, so let us put pi here. And uh, then one integral is 0 to pi, that is sin cube theta d theta. So theta and integral r will be 0 to capital R, r to the power 4 and dr. So these are the integrals which we have to manage. Alright. Now what will happen? This integral you can use sin 3 theta which is equal to 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta and from sin that sin cube theta substitute the value of sin cube theta you will get the get the answer as 4 by 3 okay simple integration and this you will get as 2 pi all right and uh, uh, this will be r to the power 5 by 5 okay because r to the power 4 will give you 
uh, r to the power 5 by 5. So now this uh, 2 pi and this 2 pi will cancel. Alright. So let us check out m will become rho omega pi into 4 by 3. Alright into uh, r to the power 5 by 5 okay now this is the value of magnetic moment and uh, what will be the angular momentum l is equal to i omega what is the moment of inertia of a solid sphere 2 by 5 m r square into omega so finally we have to find out uh, the value of this ratio that is m by l so that will be equal to uh, rho is charge density that is charge per unit volume into uh, omega pi 4 by 3 r to the power 5 by 5 and upon this will be uh, 2 by 5 into mass m r square and into omega all right so now r square and this will become 3 and uh, what is the volume of a sphere so that will be cancelled with this volume v all right and uh, what we are left with omega will be cancelled with omega and uh, 5 will be cancelled with 5 and 4 by 3 pi r cube will be cancelled with this volume so we are only left with q by 2m okay so this is answer 3 q by 2m m is the mass all right now <coughs> students as i told you that i have already done questions for shell also cylinder also solid sphere also let us check from my class notes so this was this particular question that I discussed in the class for uniformly charged rotating solid sphere and I calculated the magnetic moment is equal to 4 by 15 pi rho omega r to the power 5 in z cap direction okay and uh, you find the result same result here and just this l is equal to i omega you have to put if it was a shell it will become 2 by 3 okay for cylinder you also you should also know moment of inertia about the axis so for different systems l will change if the same ratio was asked for different cases okay thank you so much.